From coast to coast and around the world, this is Kaleidoscope, America's most exciting radio magazine. Stay tuned for more. This is John Wood, the Laughing Buddha, coming to you the third time as a talk show host. Uh, and, uh, you know, you have good things in store for you today. First of all, uh, we'll keep talking about Obamacare because I think that is important and a lot of people still don't understand its implication or how to apply and how many avenues are there. Guess what? I have the president today to tell you exactly what to do. <laughs> I got him on. Uh, he's, uh, uh, you know, talking to you. Now, uh, this is actually his uh, weekly address, uh, so it's recorded, but uh, it's about five minutes, a long one, but it tells you exactly what to do, even if you can't get on the website. And what's this imply for America? It's very important, okay? And here we go. Here's the President of the United States, Mr. Barack Obama. Ago, we launched an important new part of the Affordable Care Act. It's called the Marketplace. And for Americans without health insurance and Americans who buy insurance on their own because they can't get it at work, it's a very big deal. If you're one of those people, the Affordable Care Act makes you part of a big group plan for the first time. The marketplace is where you can apply and shop for affordable new health insurance choices. It gathers insurers under one system to compete for your business. And that choice and competition have actually helped bring prices down. Ultimately, the easiest way to buy insurance in this marketplace will be a new website, healthcare.gov. But as you may have heard, the site isn't working the way it's supposed to yet. It's frustrating for all of us who've worked so hard to make sure everyone who needs it gets health care. And it's especially frustrating for the Americans who've been trying to get covered. The site's been visited more than 20 million times so far. Nearly 700,000 people have applied for coverage already. And that proves just how much demand there is for these new quality affordable health care choices. And that's why in the coming weeks, we are going to get it working as smoothly as it's supposed to. We've got people working overtime 24-7 to boost capacity and address these problems every single day. But even as we improve the website, remember that the website isn't the only way to apply for coverage under these new plans. We've updated healthcare.gov to offer more information about enrolling over the phone by mail or in person with a specially trained navigator who can help answer your questions. Just call 1-800-318-2596 or visit localhelp.healthcare.gov. And don't worry, these plans will not sell out. We're only a few weeks into a six-month open enrollment period and everyone who wants insurance through the marketplace will get it. Now some people have poked fun at me this week for sounding like an insurance salesman, uh, and that's okay. I'd still be out there championing this law even if the website were perfect. I'll never stop fighting to help more hardworking Americans know the economic security of health care. That's something we should all want. That's why it's also interesting to see Republicans in Congress expressing so much concern that people are having trouble buying health insurance through the new website, especially considering they've spent the last few years so obsessed with denying those same people access to health insurance that they just shut down the government and threatened default over it. As I've said many times before, I'm willing to work with anyone on any idea who's actually willing to make this law perform better. But it's well past the time for folks to stop rooting for its failure, because hardworking middle-class families are rooting for its success. 
The Affordable Care Act gives people who've been stuck with sky-high premiums because of pre-existing conditions the chance to get affordable insurance for the first time. This law means that women can finally buy coverage that doesn't charge them higher premiums than men for the same care. And everyone who already has health insurance, whether through your employer, Medicare, or Medicaid, will keep the benefits and protections this law already has put into place. Three million more young adults have health insurance on their parents' plans because of the Affordable Care Act. More than six million people on Medicare have saved an average of $1,000 on their prescription medicine because of the Affordable Care Act. Last year, more than eight million Americans received half a billion dollars in refunds from their insurers because of the Affordable Care Act. And for tens of millions of women, preventive care like mammograms and birth control are free because of the Affordable Care Act. That's all part of this law, and it's here to stay. We did not fight so hard for this reform for so many years just to build a website. We did it to free millions of American families from the awful fear that one illness or injury to yourself or your child might cost you everything you'd worked so hard to build. We did it to cement the principle that in this country, the security of health care is not a privilege for a fortunate few, but a right for every one of us to enjoy. We've already delivered on part of that promise, and we will not rest until the work is done. Thanks, and have a great weekend. Okay, now that was the President of the United States. Uh, could, you can uh, believe that he was here. He was here, in spirit at least, <laughs> and in his beautiful, wonderful voice that we all love to hear uh, for those who like him. <laughs> now, because of that, I'm going to talk about politics and religion today, their relationship, why people like him or dislike him, or even hate him, or fabricate lies about him. No, so. I have to play a disclaimer from the station so that you know that it's only my opinion and nobody else, okay? And you form your own. Uh, in the unity teaching of the Rainbow Buddha, we always encourage everybody to form their own opinion. Don't let anybody sway you, even me. Your tea party, you want to drink your tea, continue to drink your tea. <laughs> your green party, you want to grow some plant, uh, hug a tree, that's okay, you know. And uh, green tea, you know, form maybe unite with the tea party and form a green tea party. Uh, I, I, I talk about that in my Facebook sometimes. And also, uh, you know, Democrat, Republican, uh, Libertarian, all welcome to listen and give your opinion. Uh, right now, it's, since it's not a call in life, so you can always email me. And I simplify the, the new email for you guys. It will be LB, uh, standing for Loving Buddha, JW, my name, John Wu. So it's LBJW777 uh, for good luck. You know, like you hit the lottery or you hit the jackpot in Vegas. You know, you're listening to me, a lot of things to learn. You may even, you know, make money from this or somehow. Uh, uh, if you're Republican <laughs> or Libertarian, or learn something spiritual. If you are uh, the New Ager or uh, a Christian, Muslim, Jewish, or um, uh, Hindu, Voodoo, it doesn't matter, you know, <laughs> Shamanism, I talk about all of that, okay? Catholic, uh, Protestant, uh, Mormons, Jehovah's Witness, all welcome, okay? Now, uh, so we talk about all that, but let's first hear the beautiful voice of our youngster, our, our uh, uh, vice president of the, of the company, and uh, we're, he's going to disclaim what I'm going to say, and then we'll, then, then I can say what I can say, okay? <laughs> this is America, it's like that, okay? Um, Here we go. It's expressed on this program are those of the program's host and do not necessarily reflect the opinions of the management of this radio station or the management of the American Radio Network. The producer and the host of this program are solely responsible for the opinions. Okay, I'm back. He is, he, uh, you know, did what is legally required. Now we can exercise our freedom of speech rights uh, and uh, and we don't have to worry about anything. Now this is my opinion of the Laughing Buddha John Wu 777. 
Remember, your opinion is valuable too in a democracy. So uh, please write to me, lbjw777 at gmail.com. LB for Latin Buddha, JW for Jen Wu, 777 for good luck. Another religious reason I'll explain later uh, at uh, gmail.com. Okay? Now, I may set up a private phone someday so you can actually call me during the show, even though uh, you will not be live on it. We can talk about the subject on the side. I can answer questions. I can give you astrological, numerological, personal, holistic health advice. Uh, they are all my opinion. You always check with uh, your professional providers first in terms of the health uh, aspect of it, nutrition, etc. I'm telling you things that work for me and people that I uh, have uh, counsel and it works for them. It's all subjective and objective at the same time. I mean, psychosomatic uh, disease uh, origin has been proven as with the, um, what they call the, um, uh, yeah, the placebo effect, uh, which means that even if they give you a sugar pill or just, just plain vitamin C, you would be, uh, you would be cured or uh, at least feel a lot better about something that's serious, even like cancer and things like that because you believe it works, you know? The belief system, as my most holy bro, uh, J.C. Yasuo, would say, uh, you know, it's your faith that has healed you, woman, or man, or children, whatever, you know, uh, or even Buddha, you know? We, we don't compete against each other, so, uh, you know, so we are very, very cooperative because we have so, such a similar uh, philosophy of life to do unto others as you wish others do unto you, which is the golden rule that follow on both in the East and in the West, and should be, you know, and anybody, and everybody apply that, you know, imagine, the Middle East would be at peace, you know, and uh, we don't have to fight over nothing, because we can share the resources of the world uh, equitably, not equally, because uh, some places need more and some places need less, and then we can invent new energy source, such as the, uh, if you don't know this, I'm going to tell you the first time probably on radio. It's the H2O car, the water car. There's a water car and an air car already available. We don't need fossil fuel, I'm telling you, for sure. Google it. Uh, water car, uh, it's invented, it was invented by Stanley Meyer, who was a, a man who lived in Ohio in the 70s. He even did a video, drove his uh, doom buggy around with only water. C can you imagine? He invented a uh, something that is uh, sort of like a, what, what they call the fuel, water fuel cell. But actually, it's like a capacitor that turns water molecule into hydrogen and oxygen continuously and cheaply and without a lot of electricity. So once it's in your car, the hydrogen and oxygen combine again in the combustion chamber. It, it, it also washes your engine from the outside. You can drink from the exhaust pipe before the cup there because it's all vapor, vapor, water vapor coming back after they combine and uh, uh, produce the energy for the car. Now, but of course, he was actually murdered. Many people think uh, he was poisoned. That was what his family claimed uh, in 1998. You can read all about that, uh, you know, YouTube it or uh, Google it. Stanley Meyer, S-T-A-N-L-U-I-M-E-Y-E-R is the last name. Uh, water, water vehicle, a water power car. Now, India already come up with an air power car. This is even more unbelievable, and that, that one's running, up and running in Asia and around Europe. And uh, <coughs> very interesting car. It, it, the piston uses uh, air. The piston has no explosion. It just compressed air, so you can uh, use uh, electricity from any source, solar, wind, whatever, or even Tesla, resonant technology, or the Stanley Meyer, you make it work. And and it would compress air into a compressed uh, air tank, which comes out uh, in the front of the engine. Uh, special engine, of course, a very light car, made from composite material, not metal, not... Uh, so it probably, that's the reason cannot be sold in the United States, because we have so many metal cars, this car won't last a minute on the freeway. <laughs> but in the, uh, in the um, probably Asian country with small street and small town, not a lot of people, that will work. Okay, that's why it's still being sold over there, not over here. And of course, the big comp oil company and the, uh, some of the car company don't want it over here for political and uh, monetary financial reason, and you can understand that until it's uh, acceptable. Now, uh, but it's a sign of the Aquarian age, because the age of Aquarius is an air age, um, it, like, as opposed to Pisces as a water age. We're right between the two, so we got two choices, actually, we don't have to choose. Both of them are good, they're not polluting. And, um, 
water car or air car. Now, that's invention. Um, <coughs> the politically, the Obamacare, let's get back to that, uh, a lot of people want to know what to do, and now you know what to do. I'm going to play the president's uh, uh, advice and suggestion every week, every Sunday when I'm here from 11 a.m. to uh, 12 noon, every Sunday, uh, if you're in Los Angeles, uh, and if you're elsewhere, check your schedule. Uh, if you can't sleep at night, you might be listening to my crazy, weird voice with a Chinese accent and <laughs> called the laughing Buddha John Wu, 777. Again, if you have an opinion right now, write to me a suggestion for any topic like UFOs, conspiracy, uh, you like or dislike Obama or Obamacare, why, you know, and uh, give me a good reason, not just because the uh, president is uh, black, okay, I mean, that's racist, uh, don't tell me that, I'm not going to talk about that, okay, or he's not even all black, you know that, you know, his other, uh, his mom was Irish, so he has that Irish luck, maybe that's, that's why he's so lucky, just like Ronald Reagan, and, uh, and I love Ronald Reagan, even though I disagree with him politically now, because I know uh, something he did, but he is still, he, he was, let's say, <laughs> he, is, he is in your spirit or, or body. Uh, he was a very good president because he had a good heart, because he uh, did not want to fight World War Three with the Soviet Union and talk peace with Gorbachev. Uh, people around him didn't like it at that time. The neocons uh, like uh, Rumsfeld, uh, Dick Cheney, uh, uh, you know, the Bush crowd. You know, Bush, Bush also is forgivable. He, he just too... I would say it's too, uh, I wouldn't say, say D word, the bum word, but he's just not, uh, uh <laughs> he's just not very uh, bright, so he does have to have somebody uh, coach him, like uh, Vice President uh, Dick Cheney at that time and his father, you know. But a lot of it is his father's policy is his third and fourth term, basically, you know, he was so pissed that, well, it was his second and third term, uh, that, uh, that uh, in 92, he was defeated by uh, uh, Clinton, so, and Clinton got eight years, so, so like Obama got eight years. Do you know, for example, uh, numerologically, the 44th president, no matter is Obama or somebody else, would have to have four ter uh, two terms, uh, four years each. Now, just look at the, the, the number, the 44th president, that's two four there, two, two four, ter uh, four year term, now that's two terms, you know, no matter who is, would be in that position during this particular uh, time in history, would have two terms, it's like heaven's will, uh, by numbers, you know, 4-4, four, four, you know? So, no matter what round you try, I mean, even with how it's 47%, which is ye his year of birth, by the way, maybe 47, <laughs> coming back to harm him, it was, uh, it, it will still be like this, you know? There, there's also a computer uh, um, uh, uh, thing going on during that time that the uh, anonymous uh, organization that, you know, obviously we don't know who they are, a bunch of very good hackers uh, and computer professionals who just couldn't stand America being taken over by uh, the neocon uh, uh, tea backers, so to speak, and, uh, and they, you know, there was a rumor that they stop the, comp uh, the, the flipping of votes that happened in 2004 during the Kerry campaign and possibly 2000 when, when Bush won the White House, because at that time, uh, a lot of suspicious things happened. There were several states where uh, the vote that was uh, from, from one uh, senator or district, a uh, person from one uh, area to another, it's always 8,484 vote over the opponent, the Democratic opponent, on four or five different places. That sounds like a computer manipulation there, you know, on the vote, uh, on the, the voting fraud, uh, grand scale. Now, who's behind it? Carl Wolf is the one that trained people to do that. R-O-V-E, he used to be in the uh, big, big shot. Looks like uh, an evil Benjamin Franklin, in my opinion, <laughs> with that boy hat and glasses. Uh, he and Big Cheney are both kind of like the incarnation of uh, the dark side of Benjamin Franklin. Okay. Anyway, uh, the thing is that they probably try to use a software called Orcut and also O-R-C-A, other ways to flip the vote, so to speak, you know? like they thought they're doing real estate, like flipping California, flipping Texas, you know. It's not like that, it's our sacred vote, it's a, you know, you don't flip our vote, you know. And they tried two times, but the third time, number three, Jupiter, uh, Good Luck Planet, synonymous, synonymous, uh, the organization stepped in. That's what I heard. I don't know if it's true or not, rumor, I don't know anybody in the organization, because they don't tell you their names, synonymous. <laughs> anonymous, I'm sorry, anonymous. Yeah, Chinese accent, okay. Anyway, uh, uh, so the that that's one one conspiracy we can talk about. You can talk about moon landing, which is some people think is fake, but some people think they're 
you know, actually the Mars has more people than the moon, okay, I don't know. <laughs> it's interesting to talk about those things, you know. Write me, write me, lbjw777 at gmail.com. Now, uh, I can even do it one better. Anybody write to me at that uh, lbjw777 at gmail.com gets a free NATO horoscope. It is a two-page thing. Some people get free because you're a more complicated person. It's a very, very good analysis of your character. It's not a prediction of your future. It just tells you uh, what your potentials are, you know, why you're the way you are and why uh, you do things you do. But they did say that the very famous saying is that uh, um, character determines destiny. Now, so that's why it could be predictive too. If you apply some of those principles, but there are bad stuff in there too, there are negative aspects that you can avoid. But it's not that simple. That's just when you were born. That's just one chart. I can do another one called the progress chart when you are uh, older. Like, like now, most, pe most, of you, most of you are not a baby, so you, most of you would be progressed already and it's done uh, in a way that is uh, calculated by advancing the, uh, uh, the number of uh, years. Let's say you're 30 years old now, right? So if you're born in 1958, like me, then we'll be looking at a chart that is uh, th uh, 30 days later. Now, let's say you're born in March, then you would be uh, now talking at, uh, let's say I'm March uh, uh, 16, uh, uh, or March 20, uh, 1958, then, you know, then you'll be looking at April 20, 1958. That's how it's done in the progress chart. So you're more like a, a Taurus now than a Pisces, you know. So but you still have your Pisces uh, tendency, but it's just uh, the Taurus uh, more uh, stable personality is added to you. You're not as flaky, you're not as uh, uh, emotional. You're more into money now, you know, Taurus. Now, that sort of thing is interesting. I'll give each one who write to me at lpjw777 at gmail.com a free horoscope, or, well, it's not horoscope, it's me to star chart, I call it. Uh, you know, when you were born, that's where the stars are, and it sort of affects your life for the rest of your life, you know. And I'll give you that one for free, you know. I usually fi charge $5 each. <laughs> and I can send it to you by email, uh, through your email that you sent me. And then uh, uh, if you um, want to talk about Obamacare, well, well, let's finish that, because uh, as the President said, you don't need to go to the website. You can go to any insurance agent. I recommend a broker, because a broker Insurance broker is somebody who is independent of companies, so they a corporation, which we know are evil, you know, most of them, <laughs> but not all of them, they're nice ones, but uh, we call them corporate devils, so they want your money, and all this uh, raising the prices is done by them, not by the president, because they have to comply with this law, they want to get their loss uh, in covering the people with the existing condition like a cancer or heart disease or diabetes elsewhere, they want to take it from the people who are more healthy and middle cla uh, upper class that has more money. That's why those people are losing insurance. Only 5% of the population uh, who has private insurance. Most of us who are working doesn't get that. You know, they may raise the rate, but then, you know, your employer may come for it, they may not, and then in you know, the county health system that we are working with, they are still negotiating with the union, SEIU. Now, uh, if you're a USIU member, you're welcome to write to me. Any suggestion, I can may even interview you someday and put it on a couple of weeks later. You know, the show is done like three weeks ahead. So if you wanted to do something, calculate the day you want to be on, I can interview you at your home and then, or someplace we meet, and then we can put it on for any issues, you know, any issues, okay? And um, now, uh, so go to the local help. Uh, uh, a website like the president said, and you can find out more. And then there's also one more called healthreform.com that he hasn't mentioned that explained to you a lot of these things. But but also but that one also goes to link to healthcare.gov eventually if you want to apply it yourself. But your agent can do it. You know your agent can do it. Look for a broker, not just agent, not just State Farm, Farmer, or those big ones. Uh, they might help you. Triple A may be a good 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 good. Uh, uh, office to go to because they they nonprofit and uh, uh, you know they're like a broker you know so find somebody like that I have uh, I can recommend David Lin L I N which is my f uh, my good friend who is a Chinese insurance agent and did a lot of the people in the Chinese community all the insurance from uh, you know homeowner insurance a car all the insurance 
business and so on. So you can talk, call David Lim. Just Google him. I don't remember his number because I'm, I'm just proving it's a freebie. Every time you do this, he's not a sponsor. <laughs> but maybe someday he'll get some business to go. But uh, uh, anyway, write to me. Any question, any suggestion for any topic, uh, it will be lbjw777 at gmail.com. And I also might be on other people's show on the, this kaleidoscope uh, 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 program, which is many, many people, and there's many different DJ or uh, announcers or uh, talk show hosts trying to promote their own show, but at the same time, they might uh, interview other talk show hosts or DJ. So I might be on one of them, uh, the more famous, more established one someday, and you'll hear my voice again. But you can w you're always welcome to listen to me if you're L.A., 11. 30 a.m. to 12 noon every Sunday. It's like church or temple, you know. You don't, you don't have to, just don't have to spend the gas, you know, I'm saving your gas. And I'm very moderate in, I, in my philosophy. I can talk about any religion, whatever religion. And if I don't know that religion, like Sikh, for example, I have somebody at work who's a Sikh, and I found out that they, uh, they were supposed to wear a decker. <laughs> golden decker, but since in America you go wear a golden decker to work, you're going to be uh, under the zero tolerance law, you know, especially in the county facility. So, uh, so forget it. So, I mean, something you have to obey the land of the law sometime, even though your religion said that uh, you can do otherwise. So this is what we're talking about, the, you know, to be reasonable, you know, to have a moderate middle path we Asian always advise, you know, Chinese, Japanese, uh, uh, not the Japanese during World War II, they were extreme, but I'm saying, <laughs> although North Korean at this moment, you know, but, but, but Kim Jong-un is just kind of like a, a puppet, like a, uh, like a funny cartoon character. Don't worry about him, there will be no nuclear war with them, don't listen to those uh, uh, Fox News or other kind of uh, internet nonsense, you know. Uh, this is what I'm talking about, but you like to talk about it, I can talk about it, i tell you what's what's right and wrong, you know? The tree of knowledge of good and evil in a good way, okay? Uh, come, uh, you know, we'll, we'll talk about that. Now, we have to do some earthly thing because we, we are, you know, sponsored by various companies. So we'll do some earth com uh, earthly commercial that you need. And then uh, we'll be uh, uh, right back. And right now, relax a little bit with the water meditation music, okay? And here it is. My friend John and I think the road rules. We've got lots of ideas on where to go. Unfortunately, we're a little low on bucks. I'm thinking we're going nowhere fast. Then John found out about this Greyhound 2 for 1 companion fare. We can go just about any place, any time, and we only pay for one ticket. Two for the price of one. And there's no hassles because we only have to buy our ticket three days before we go. So John, if you're listening, I got one thing to say. You the man. The Greyhound 2 for 1 companion fare. Call now for details. Special conditions apply. Pringles 800 number. Yeah, hi. You made a mistake with my Pringles. Uh, sir? See, it says fat-free on the can, but they don't taste fat-free. Uh, sir, if it says fat-free original Pringles, that's what they are. Listen, talk to my wife. Blanche! Yeah, hi. You made a mistake. Uh, no, ma'am. Fat-free Pringles are made with Olean. That's why they taste just as good with no fat and half the calories. No way. I know when it's missing that fakey no-fat taste. Listen, I'll mail you one. You taste it. New fat-free Pringles. Tasting is believing. Hey, what's that on your chin? And there's something on your nose. Actually, there's stuff all over your face. Don't worry, it's not crumbs from a late afternoon cupcake. It's the gunk left by your not-so-cleansing cleanser. See, Biore cleansers don't just move dirt around your face. Biore gets rid of dirt. The Biore Dirt Lock system surrounds oil and makeup so they rinse away completely, leaving absolutely clean skin. So wash your face with Biore cleansers and smile. Just uh, check for spinach in your teeth. Biore. Clean. Honest. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
It sits there looking like a candy bar in a nice orange wrapper, right? Reese's nut rageous. Then you take a bite and it blows your eyeballs to Pluto, kicks your ribs to the roof of your mouth, pounds your taste buds into a simpering puddle of pulp, and leaves you for dead. Want one, don't ya? Reese's nut rageous, so loaded. Chocolate. Reese's peanut butter. You don't eat it, you survive it.